What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I will be reviewing the AEW Unrivaled Collection Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega 2 pack. I'm really excited to do this. This is I think these are my first AEW figures I will be reviewing on this channel. Uh I think the next will be MJF, but um yeah. So this 2 pack uh it, it's just a reskin of two figures that I already put out, but I didn't have these, so this is great for me, and it was on ringside for 21 bucks, and you can't pass up on that deal. So, you see the front, you see the figures and their accessories. It just shows Adam Page and Kenny Omega. The back shows uh, when they won the tag team ch titles, which uh, they don't have Hangman wearing that gear for some reason, but oh well. And then, same thing on that. All right, oops. Uh, I wasn't supposed to do it until after my joke, but um, anyway. Let's crack this open. Let's see, I was supposed to do it then. All right, we're gonna take a look at accessories before we get into the figures itself. Starting off with, I guess this. Uh, we got a beaker, or yeah, we got a beaker. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a clear thing you could use as a weapon in hardcore matches. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, next we got a little cup. Obviously, we'll go with a beaker. My camera could focus. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we can just do the chair. Um, it's a folding chair. Uh, I've seen people say the quality isn't great on these, but mine's actually pretty tight. So that that's pretty cool. Got an AEW chair to go at the Mattel ones. Then we got the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Both of those look really nice. I'm excited to have tag team titles in my collection. I actually don't have them in Mattel, so now I have these. So yeah, I could just use this for my fed that works and then the hands we got the uh kenny omega kind of the v jigger hand for the other hand then we also have a pointer finger for hangman and then just another grabbing hand so yeah that's it for accessories now let's go on to the figures we're going to take a look at hangman adam page first starting off with the head sculpt um it's a pretty decent head sculpt of hangman uh, I've got his blonde mullet going on. Uh, uh, obviously not too much detail on the torso except for the wrist tape. Then his tights, which is just a reskin of one of his previous figures, but they look pretty clean. So, no complaints about that. Articulation. Uh, can head, his head can move left to right, obviously. His shoulders go above 90 degrees. This one is kind of loose, though. Yeah, not gonna say, I'm going to say something about that, obviously. Bicep swivel, uh, it's okay. Then the AEW figures, this one especially has kind of a slim, uh, flimsy uh, elbow joints, but um, it can go up to about there, but you gotta be careful with that. Then wrist swivel and wrist hinge, looking pretty good. Ab crunch, AEW figures usually are really good at this, but Hangman doesn't really go that, I don't know, Hangman doesn't go that far uh, down, but he goes up good amount back then can kick forward about that far back that far um upper upper thigh cut pretty decent right there um then he also kind of has like flimsy knees so you gotta be careful about that but knee with the thick knee pads don't really go too much so then boot swivel and hinge at the foot so overall pretty decent but has some of the the bad qualities about AEW figures. Now let's move on to Omega. Well, there he is. All right. I don't know what I just did in my camera there. Uh, so let's look at the head sculpt first. This is a really great head sculpt of Kenny Omega. Yeah, I think it really captures him. Uh, the hair looks great as well. Um, upper body looks pretty good. It's way better than the skin color on the earlier ones. Got right, white, white wrist tape. Tongue twister right there. Then his gear... In real life, it does not look that good, but in figure form, this looks amazing with the gold, blue, and silver. It, it looks really cool, so this is really dope gear. Um, Now let's go over articulation. So head, obviously you can move left to right like all figures should be able to do. Then shoulder goes above 90. Uh, he doesn't really have um, uh, upper arm cut, but then his, it's kind of... The elbow joint is kind of flimsy, but not as bad as Hangman. Go up about that far. Then wrist swivel and hinge. 
then at his ab crunch is what I'm talking about. Go down to there, and then back is insane. And go, uh, great moonsault, those right there. Um, then leg, can kick out about that far. Kick out, kick back about that far, so not too much. Upper thigh cut, really good on that one. Uh, double knees, go about that, get that, get that V trigger, you know. Uh, boot, boot swivel doesn't really have much, and then hinge out the foot. Nice. And that is all for the AEW Unrivaled Collection. Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page 2-pack. Overall, I enjoyed this set. If you already have figures of these two, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you just needed the accessories for some reason. But um, if you don't really have that many AEW figures or you just don't have these figures specifically or any of the other uh, repaints of it, I highly recommend getting this. It's a great value. Uh, the figures are good overall. I, I, Kenny's fig, Kenny's figure feels really good in hand. Hangman is, is a bit loose. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, AW is obviously different from Mattel for the quality control. But, um, yeah, really excited to have some more AW figures in my collection. Uh, that's all for this video. Uh, peace out.